Ready? <laughs> hey now, I hope y'all are having a good day. Uh, today was not a good day for me. Um, started off at the house, chilling out, checking out news, and uh, getting caught up with the social stuff. So I had a late start getting out. But when I head out in the morning, I come down to the studio, Montebello. Sometimes I visit some uh, Target stores or maybe other toy stores. I mean, that's how you find stuff, right? You take the time, stop by a store. Now, I can't do it all day. I got things to do. But, you know, on the way, maybe on the way, um, I go ahead and uh, visit some stores. Sometimes it could be Target and Commerce. Sometimes I might go to Bell Gardens and then come around that way. Well, today I decided to go to Pico Rivera and um, Target Pico Rivera. And actually, across the street, you know, if you know Pico Rivera, uh, across Rosemead, you have Home Depot, you have Shakey's Pizza, you have uh, Dollar Tree, right? In and out. Mm. Uh, anyways, so I pop in a Dollar Tree. And uh, look, I drive a big truck. I drive a Chevy Avalanche. Uh, you guys probably know if you've been around a while. I drive a Chevy Avalanche. And I'm coming out, and someone has their car door, and the car door is against the paint on my truck, right? And it's like, you know, first of all, I drive a big truck, so I always park far away. I don't wedge my, I don't need to be up close. Park a little away. So first of all, why do they have to park right next to me? And then they still hit my truck with their door. So as I, as I come around, and I'm looking at the door, they close the door and then they start to back up and I'm looking and I see a scratch on my uh, truck, right? You know, and then I look down. If you know the Chevy Avalanche, it, it has plastic cladding. So let me show you. This is a Chevy Avalanche, if you're not familiar. This is this is exactly what my truck looks like. Matchbox released this version. My truck is this color. And if you see right here, this plastic part, so that plastic cladding is so that uh, I don't ding other car doors and other car doors don't ding me. And uh, so anyways, I come around. I can't believe it's touching. Well, whatever. So they close their door. I look at the scratch and then they kind of start speeding off. I look down and the cladding is missing off of my truck. They took two pieces, uh, not the driver's side door, the passenger side door. And then behind that, there's a, there's a little piece too. Jump in the truck and uh, I start following them. And it's clearly they stole my pieces, okay, because they're speeding away. They're going through the stop signs. So clearly they stole my stuff. So I'm on the phone with 911 and then I'm driving, which is not what you're supposed to do. But you know what? I want to make sure I don't hurt nobody else. And uh, sure enough, cut across Home Depot and then they take me through residential. I start following them. And uh, unfortunately, they went around this one uh, mini, like a little mini mall. And when we went around the corner, there's a building on the corner. When we made the right, they were a little ahead of me. Look, the avalanche is not exactly a pursuit vehicle, okay? It's a little tall, and right? It's a little high profile. So if it goes through the curves, it's not good. It's going to flip over, right? Just like uh, Hot Wheels. Um, now, they were driving like a dark blue SUV. And so I was a little behind. They made the right. I made the right. And then... Turn, what they did is they turned into that little complex, and then I lost them. So I was on the phone with 911 saying that I'm chasing this vehicle. The, they either had no plates or they had something covering the plate. I couldn't. There's absolutely no markers, nothing I could distinguish. So when I'm on 911, with 911, they ask, uh, you know, do you want to get the uh, police department out? And I, they might have transferred me because during that time, somehow I got 911 again. Hello, 911 operator, can I help you? I don't know what happened. But I said, you know, what's the point? They're gone. I can't ID the vehicle. And what's it going to do? So I said, you know, never mind. And I appreciate the people who, uh, you know, I posted pics of the damage on my social, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Thank you very much to those people who shared um who said you know hey why don't you get uh, the stores probably have security footage and whatnot and it's, it's the same thing to be honest with you um it's a few hundred dollars to have the, that uh, cladding replaced and i don't think that police aren't going to do nothing about it even if you see the vehicle on the camera you're you're not going to get to you're not going to get any identification you're not going to, what are they going to get? 
you know. My wife, she had her Toyota Supra. She had a Toyota Supra back in the 90s. And she had her Toyota Supra stolen. And they found it over in like Hazard Hill. And uh, those of you who know East LA, it was over in Boyle Heights, so over there in that Hazard area. And it's not Hazard because it's hazardous. That's the name of a street that's over there. I don't remember the exact name. So in the middle of the night, the police called us and said, you know, we, we found your vehicle. They just took it for a joyride and they ditched it. Well, there was fingerprints all over the place. And the police said, you know, there's so many cars stolen that it's unlikely that they will, will they'll ever be able to catch the people. So, you know, sometimes you just got to let it go. Um, so thankfully, she got her Toyota Super back at least, right? It would have been nice if we still had that car nowadays. But, you know, that was already 20 years ago. It wouldn't exactly be <laughs> in that great shape nowadays. So I appreciate everybody uh, caring and uh, posting kind messages. I see everybody chatting here. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. So Pico Rivera, that's Dollar Tree over there. And so I find some stuff. And I actually filmed some Off the Pegs video to uh, footage to make a video. Got some of the McLaren and stuff for Matchbox. And then I come out and sometimes, you know, uh, some people don't have instinct to uh, react. So sometimes it's a, you got to snap into action. Sometimes it's the action you're supposed to retake is get out of there, right? Well, the action that I decided to take was to chase them. I got I want my parts back, right? Um, didn't even dawn on me. I could have live streamed the dang thing and then uh, got at least a vehicle so people know what the vehicle looked like. I don't know if you'd be able to see anything. 911 was more important to me. Um, who knows? Maybe now I need to get a dash cam. That would have even been better. So I just sit there and relax because I got to calm down. Adrenaline's pumping. I pull over. Uh, take care of some social. Let my family know what happened. And then, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go to Target. I'm going to start across this, like, right there by Rosemary. So I go over there. Don't find nothing at uh, Target. Head down. I got to head south. So Pico Rivera. Hit the Walmart over there on Washington, near the intersection of Washington and Rosemead. It's probably Paramount. I think it's a side street. And um, so go in. Nothing. Come out. Truck won't start. Dead battery. We're having a great day today, aren't we? So, um, thankfully, Amanda brought me tools to help get the battery out. But I needed to... Um, so I bought the battery. I'm at Walmart. Buy the battery there. Unfortunately, uh, she brought me the tools I asked for. What I didn't realize I needed is the battery is actually bolted on the bottom. It has a little uh, clasp on the bottom. And uh, I, I didn't ask her to bring a socket wrench because I don't know what size that is. Back in the Walmart after I buy the battery, come back out. Now I got to go buy a socket wrench, come back out. Uh, you know, a couple hours later, next you know, here it is. I'm, it's 4.30 here in, in Montebello, California. It's been one heck of a long day. Didn't have lunch. All the stress, all the adrenaline. It's like, you know what? I'm going to give me a Happy Meal. <laughs> I just need a little uh, guilty pleasure just to put a smile on my face. I see the Batman uh, stuff. And, you know, things like this, when thing, bad things happen to you, you can't let them take you out of your element. You can't let them take you. You have to be who you are, right? And so they had Batman toys. And so there was a kid there. I seen they had, like, Batman masks and stuff. What am I going to do with a Batman mask? So I was going to give it to the – there was a boy sitting there. And <laughs> so the manager hands me my stuff, and then I pull it out. And it's this uh, – it's for the Lego Batman movie, right? And then it's like this uh, – it's like this cup. It's kind of cool. You have like a cup and a little bowl. So I tell the manager, that's I actually asked the manager, I said, do you know if that boy got a Happy Meal? Do you know if he, they got a toy? And he said, mm, I don't know. Sorry. But I didn't see anything that looked like he had a Happy Meal. So I was going to give him my toy. I don't care. Um, it's fun to get it. And then it's like this, right? Catch and release. Except, yeah, you're right. I still have it. It was too cool. <laughs> Got a little, that's not a bowl actually, it's got a hole in the bottom. I'm not sure what that is, but the cup's kind of cool, so. Mm. Sorry, mijo, I decided to keep it. Oh, I guess it's a lid. It has holes. 
it has holes. I forgot to start a timer. Let me see what time it is here. About 13 minutes, yes. Hey guys, uh, I'm going to, oh, that's, I clicked the wrong thing. I'm gonna have a little, uh, I'm gonna play a little game with you right now. If you want, if you'd like. I accidentally closed my windows, hold on, sorry. So now I got my chat. Thank you, Jeremy, for moderating. Thank you for helping. Guys, I run a family-friendly channel. You should know that. Please, no cussing, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to record this, and then I'm going to I'm going to post this on YouTube later on. So since you're watching, I thought I would like to do a game during the live stream. It's kind of something fun to do, something different. Well, I don't know if it's different. I don't know anybody else is doing it, okay? So I'm going to show, a show you a vehicle. Jeremy's watching, and if you guys would watch, if you guys would watch the comments, I'm going to give a shout out to the first person that gives the right answer to the character. I'm holding a model right now. I'm going to hold it up to the camera. You don't have to say what release it is, this or that. What's this guy's name? Set. Go. That's so easy. We got to start it easy. This is good enough. Thunderpants, Tomater, you are correct. Tomater was a, uh, Mater was a correct answer. And Tomater, or this is new Mater and all that stuff. So congratulations, uh, Thunderpants. When I re-put this back up on the YouTube channel later on, I will, uh, you'll, you'll put the text, I'll put text on the screen, give you a shout out for getting that corrected. Thank you very much. I have two more cars. Now, let me see. Hunter Wheeler, can you do more six lane races? I do plan on doing them in the future. Uh, I'm waiting for something to happen before I start those. Thank you very much. Alex Ochoa, do you have a Kona Sig? Yes, I do have a Kona Sig. Uh, I happen to buy that set of retros, so I do have one. It's crazy how much that car is worth nowadays. Bruce Freeze, what does Super Chat mean? Thank you very much for asking. Um, you know what Super Chat is? Now YouTube started a thing to where you can click on that dollar sign and donate to the creator who's doing the live stream, right? It helps you support the creators that you enjoy, right? So last week, so I'm going to give a shout out again to these three people who donated through Super Chat last last time. It was Lava and Fro Frobert, LOL Fabricant, and Robert Phillips. Thank you to those three people for donating during the last Super Ch Chat. And when you donate through Super Chat, your comment... Uh, Depends on how much you donate. It might get pinned. It might get highlighted. Um, so that's what Super Chat is for. If you donate at least $5, $5, it pins it to the top. And then I can't miss that for sure, right? Dave plays Clash Royale. Can you do a collection video? I have tens of thousands of cars. There's no way that I could do a collection video. It's too many. When I do a case unboxing video, it takes me 15 minutes to do 72 cars. How am I going to do a collection video with tens of thousands of cars? The Toy Collector 24, what are your my plans for K-Day? Uh, I'll probably be going to Cut Hay. Brendan, uh, I just added you as a moderator if you get a chance. Moderators, the only responsibility for moderators is if somebody cusses. Delete the comment. I run a family-friendly channel, right? Um, being a moderator doesn't mean you're policing and you're telling people what to do. And I'm not telling Brendan this, I'm saying in general. Um, it's a try to have a comfortable place for us to have a conversation, right? If people make it uncomfortable, why do, why should we have them around, right? PVAJ, I know him. He's been around a while. I'm going to give him a moderator tag. He doesn't have to do anything. But if he chooses to delete somebody's comment or ban somebody, he can do it. I trust him to be able to do that. Sean Getz, have you done a video on the Connect cars? Did Mattel complete the series? Yes, they completed the series, but they wound up like at uh, Dollar Tree and stuff like that. Um, so I, ha I had to uh, collect it later on. Um, I take that back. I did not want all 50 cars. I only wanted certain ones. So this chart, when I move this chart, it makes noise. Uh, I only wanted certain ones. I didn't need all of them. Uh, you, if you're talking about the Hot Wheels 50 connect cars. However, Matchbox, somebody was selling the state cars, 
all 50 of the state cars. So I did buy that collection off of them because I thought it would be a nice, um, it'd be a nice video. You know, people would like to see what was their vehicle uh, when Matchbox did the state cars, right? So at some point, when I find that box again, I don't know where it is. It'd be a quick video. Well, it can't be quick. It's going to be 50 cars. But I'll, I'll try to put something there for uh, people to check out. And then I'll have to, I'll, I'll put like the letter in the corner. So this way people can just scan through the video. To, like they're, if they're in Texas, you don't, you don't have to sit there and watch the whole video to get to T, right? So I'll put like A, change it to B. This way, if they want, they can scan the T and see what Texas looks like. Huge sign 667. You've been around a long time. I appreciate you still being around. And you know what? I choose to make my channel wholesome, right? YouTube, you can do what you want, right? It's your channel. Do what you want. But in this corner right here, I want people to have a safe place. Look, the toys are just three and up, right? So that's what I choose to run. Uh, I'm an adult. I'm 18 and over. Ask Jeremy. There could be certain words that come out once in a while. But that's not here. That's not why we're here, right? Uh, now, there's some people. You think they have their wholesome, right? And maybe you guys heard about the news about Shay Carl this week, right? Well, Shay Carl gets himself into trouble. So... That was not a good idea. PewDiePie, oh, some stuff going on with PewDiePie. That's okay. They do. It's their channel. They can do what they want to do, right? Do I bring that kind of drama to race crews? No, because that's not what race crews is about, right? Um, I wish some people would make better decisions, right? But um, that's how it goes. Brandon, how do you donate? Do you pay on something? If you click the dollar sign, I assume it'll take you to a method to donate. I haven't done it yet. I think you have to have Google Pay set up. I'm not sure. Orlando Vallejo, can you do a Super Loop track? Uh, I don't know what the next track time is going to be. And there's actually, I think it was called Super Loop, that wall track set. I still have that thing to review. Uh, I'm going to have to, I don't want to do anything with the walls here. So I'm going to have to make a fake wall to do that review. Gabba Devil 12, what's up, buddy? Uh, Chris Anderson, Andreason, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Does Hot Wheels still have the 40 foot gravity track? Yeah, they, they do have the 40-foot gravity track, as far as I know, and they bring it to the conventions. I don't know if they're going to have it at Pittsburgh, and while I'm talking about that, I mentioned before, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm not going to make it to Pittsburgh now. I said that I bought my ticket, but I had a conflict. Well, because I have a scheduling conflict, I'm going to let a friend go. My friend uh, Jay, I've been friends with him for 15 years plus. So I let Jay have my ticket, so he's going to go. I'm not going to make it to Pittsburgh, sorry. Um, but on that note, LA for sure, they still have their 40 foot track. Trackstar Diecast 45. That's a name from the past. How you doing, Bubba? Am I going to watch the Daytona 500? If I happen to know it's on, I, we might check it out. You know, my, my wife, once in a while, she'll put on a NASCAR. I don't know why she's not into it, but she just likes whatever. I, I tend to not catch it myself. When is it? When's NASCAR, guys? Post a date for NASCAR. So this way, that'll be my reminder. Yeah, I remember you, Trackstar Diecast 45, because you actually did a video <laughs> recently, and it, it came up through my subscription feed. It was a uh, a quick video game segment, I think it was. Tom Paul Fran, I still I still have those two red lines. Thank you very much. It was fantastic getting to meet you too. Um, that's why when I'm out in public, if someone happens to meet me, say hi. I'm a friendly guy. But that guy that I was chasing in my avalanche, that's a different story. I can't talk about that right now. Okay. Smitty, so there's a race on Saturday night. It's an NASCAR on day 25, funded February 26. Jeremy, remind me. <laughs> Thank you, Ed Maiden. Troy Grant, ever get to Atlanta? You know, the family, we went to Tennessee for a uh, vacation. It's been 17 years already now. So we got to go to Dollywood, but we didn't quite go over the hill down into uh, Georgia. Samuel Straw, man, do I have a favorite book? That's a good question. You know what I've been thinking about doing is, uh, look, uh, I'm a little bit older, but older collectors, I don't know if you know, there was these things called big little books, and they literally were this big, right? But they were thick, but it was, it was a big little book, and I still have my Aquaman book, and I want to do a video showing that Aquaman book, and then compare it to the new Aquaman character. That's not big difference. He changed. Thank you, Benny Gomez. I'm having fun. Nathan Smith, do you have any plans on ever making it to the Monster Jam World Finals? You're going this year. Have a good time at the Monster Jam Finals. Finals. I don't have a, 
I am probably going to miss it. I am missing Pittsburgh Nationals. I already messaged, I already communicated with, uh, drawing a blank, Matchbox, Albuquerque Convention. I already messaged him, said I'm not going to make it out this year. I didn't go to the Monster Jam this year. A couple, there was like three events in Anaheim. Um, yeah, I didn't go. I'm probably not going to go to Monster Jam anyways. Uh, I'm not going to go to Monster Jam finals in Vegas either. Um, I don't know. But I've, I have family living out there. So it'll be fun to go because then I get to go there and then I go get to see. I got my mom and dad out there. I got two brothers living out there. I got two aunts that live out there. So it's just not, uh, it's just not, uh, there's more for me to do than just uh, go to Monster Jam. So I would like to do it though. Giggle Blaggle Toys. What's up, Mr. Uh, banjo Player? You're welcome, Coop. And see this, when I um, when I re-edit this and repost this, uh, I can take out some of these gaps when I'm looking for a comment. Um, PBAJ1972. Uh, have I thought about buying the new Chevy Avalanche? Well, you know it's gone, right? They're, it's discontinued. I probably would not, because to me, that was the character of the Avalanche, was that cladding. Uh, but if I was going to buy it, mm, who knows, maybe I'll get the Escalade version, you know, I could. Ah, that's one thing I was going to talk about. People ask, you know, because one time I said, I have room in the warehouse for my Avalanche and for a Lamborghini. And then people thought, you have a Lamborghini? Uh, no, I don't have a Lamborghini. Um, I don't, um, the deal is, is I don't want to spend that kind of money. Look, I got my Chevy Avalanche and then there's still in parts of it in a parking lot. What's going to happen if I have a Lamborghini? What do you think is going to happen? So that's another reason why I probably would not get a, an exotic car. I would want something that would be fun to drive and I wouldn't be, have to worry about people doing it. Somebody banned Jeremy. He Ridgeline, the word Ridgeline is not allowed in my household. So want to be Avalanche. He knows that and he's trying to start trouble. Bye Hank. Mike Basil Max. I have a few moderators right now. Thank you. I'm okay. There's a spider on the wall behind me. Uh, I like spiders. I leave them alone because they eat the bugs. Why are you going to kill a spider when he's eating the bugs? Right? Leave the spiders alone. David Menes, how can you review Hot Wheels printed logos? Uh, you know, I do enough Hot Wheels content on my channel as it is. Right? That kind of thing is better for someone to do in a blog to where it can stay there indefinitely. And for me to take time to do Hot Wheels logos, I got race screws things to work on, to be honest with you. Right? Uh, all you have to do is search. You can search the internet, Hot Wheels logos. Boom, there you go. Okay, I'm going to do a second question. You guys ready? Uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to ask you a question, another trivia question. And when I repost this on the channel, you're going to get a shout out. And I'll put your name next to the car so you get a shout out. Are you guys ready? So the first one was easy. Name the character. We're going to do another one. You got to name the character, okay? Ready, Jeremy? Ready, moderators? We're looking to see who's the first person. Hey, Ken. Who's the first person to name the character on this card? Okay. I'm going to get the camera to focus here first. This way it's ready. Which camera are we looking at? Both? Set. Go. Who's that character? I should have turned it this way first, huh? Yep. Aiden Morton was first person to say Shredder. Thank you, Hayden Morden, H-A-Y-D-E-N Morden. You know what? I should have spelled out the other guy's name, too, because I don't know if I'm going to misspell it. Hopefully, I spell it right when I do it the next time. As far as giving people shout-outs, if you ask a good question, you get a shout-out. Not only that, everybody gets to benefit because I'll answer a question, and everybody benefits. It's not just a shout-out about you. Ask a good question, okay? That's what I'm looking for. Short Films TV, what was your first car? I'm going give to a, give a shout out to the person who answered that. I've said that several times. What was my first car? W12 official, can you make a track time for the 2004 first editions, please? Uh, yeah, I have some uh, plans to do stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I would start with 2004, but I do have uh, plans. And Sean Getz is correct. Sean Getz is correct. Chevy Vega was my first car. 1977, I think. 1977 Chevy Vega. It was red. Let me tell you, that car was a small car, but that thing was fast. That was, it's amazing how fast that little car. I'm not a car guy, right? But that car got me into a lot of trouble, a lot of speeding tickets. And then you know what happened? I was parked on a hill. So when you're parked on a hill like this, 
uh, you have to turn your wheels like this so that they go to the curb. Well, when you turn it like this, the wheel kind of sticks out a little bit. Someone clipped a tire totaled my Chevy Vega. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Sora rocks us. Do you plan on doing more Acceleracer stuff? Absolutely. Acceleracers are awesome. Good track cars, and people love the Acceleracers. So, of course, I'm going to be doing more Acceleracers. As a matter of fact, I filmed an Acceleracers video when I was in the other studio, and I still need to edit that and put it together. Um, I had that. I had one of my track times where it was a circuit. Remember when I had the cars go down, and then they zigzag, zigzag, and then they came back, and they went back into the circuit. Uh, so I filmed a team's competition on that layout. I need to get that edited and uploaded. Thank you. Alex Ochoa, do I prefer classics or exotics? Uh, toy cars, probably, it's, it's neat to collect exotics, but I like classics too. We get a lot of exotic cars. Nobody's making classic models right now. Uh, so Matchbox has brought a couple in. They did the Hudson. Uh, there's probably a few others that I can't think of off the top of my head. Unfortunately, Hot Wheels. You know, they come up with uh, classic models, but they are fantasy type models. It's like, no, do the real thing. Courtney Willingham, the characters called Shredder from Ninja Turtles. Thank you for confirming that. I did a search on the internet for pictures just to make sure because I could be wrong. I don't know all the characters. But yeah, thank you for confirming for us. Corbin's Weekly Dose of Awesomeness. What's your favorite original Hot Wheels? Well, original Hot Wheels. Oh, okay. There's two ways to take that. Um, let's talk about Redline, original Sweet 16. Oh, you know, I don't know about original Sweet 16. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the originals. Uh, it'd be a toss-up between Bone Shaker and Twin Mill. Those two are the uh, original models that they've turned into real cars. Those would be cool to own. Diamond Day, do you have a girl? See, that's kind of a smart out of comment that people like to post. But... If you if you hung around and you're part of the community, you would know that I'm married and I have two kids. As a matter of fact, Jeremy's moderating. So I have a girl. Her name's Amanda. She's my daughter. Jeremy, who is your favorite Monster Jam truck? Huh? Is it Grave uh, Who? <laughs> okay. That's a good thing. Who? We did a Monster Jam downhill race, and I accidentally called Grave Digger something else. What did I call him? It was an accident, but it was funny. Jeremy, you cannot answer. No, it wasn't Grave Digger. It wasn't Grave Spriller. Brandon, very good. Gold Digger. Yeah, I accidentally called him Gold Digger. It slipped. I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything. Just because he wins all the time doesn't mean there's any funny business going on, does it? PBAJ 1972, how many variations of Grave Digger did Mattel make? Oh my gosh, are you kidding? Every other assortment, Grave Digger again. This time, BKT tires. Next time, X ray chassis. Oh, let's release them again the first time. Too much. Okay, very good. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the video where I accidentally called Grave Digger, I called him Gold Digger. Sorry. I'll leave a link at the end of this video when I repost it. It'll be in the description as well. Thank you very much. I'm going to say bye-bye. And for those of you still in the live stream, I'm going to say goodbye for a couple minutes. All right? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.